Hello, my name's Limey Joe and welcome to my beginner's guide of Mega Aquarium. Mega Aquarium is a fun, relaxing strategy game about building your own aquarium. If you've played Two Point Hospital or Jurassic World, Mega Aquarium will feel pretty familiar, but without the possibility of the animals eating the guests. It has a good range of fish and other water-based wildlife with realistic characteristics and requirements for the different species, so you have to be careful which species are housed together so they don't eat each other. Some species like places to hide, some need plants in the tank, and some need to be in a group. There's a good campaign that guides you through the various stages of developing your aquarium, but I will start a sandbox game so you can see the different aspects. You can see the sandbox games have a nice amount of customization, but I will start at level 1. As you progress through the levels, more fish and tanks and decorations become available. So to the basics. First of all, place a tank. You can hold the mouse button and drag to make the tank bigger if you wish. Heating and filtration for the tank is next. Later on, you get coolers as well for cold water fish. Hire a member of staff to look after various aspects of the aquarium. At the start, you want a jack of all trades, but especially you need feeding and fixing skills. And don't be cheap, get someone who has decent skills so they can do the jobs faster. Put some appropriate rocks and vegetation in your tank, although not all fish need it. Put a few fish in your tank and open your doors for paying guests. And don't forget food for your fish and a toolbox so your staff can fix things when they go wrong. You will also want to cater for your guests' basic needs by adding benches for them to sit on and food and drink vending machines. As your customers view your fish, you will gain resources. The yellow stars are prestige, which allow you to gain levels and access to more attractions. The type of fish you have means your visitors will give you ecology points, which allow you to get new fish varieties, or research points that allow you to get new equipment for your aquarium. Next up is making your aquarium look nice. Once you reach around level 3, your visitors will expect the ugly machines to be hidden away. So to do this you have to build staff only areas which house the machines, feeding, containers and tools. You can also make your aquarium look prettier by adding themes and decorations. I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came me way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Soon you'll want to expand your aquarium and add more tanks so you have a bigger variety of fish Different varieties of fish keep your visitors happy and interested and therefore gain you prestige and research points. If you look at your fish variety screen, in the bottom left of each species you can see how many of that species you have in your aquarium. Your staff will gain experience as they work and you'll be able to increase their skills. I've found that fixing and feeding are the most important throughout, but you will need staff member with the other skills as well. You can also prioritize which jobs each member of staff does and later add zones for each worker to make them more efficient. I've found that one member of staff to four tanks is about right to keep things working smoothly on normal difficulty level. Okay, that's it. It's time to build your dream aquarium. Have fun and thanks for watching. Bye bye.